Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Navigate the ship of your life, Captain Amit Bhandari. Today's topic is going to be about the ranks on board a ship. What is the rank structure? What is the appellates stand for? So on a ship, the overall in charge is always the captain. And you know why is the captain overall in charge? Because only one person can be head of a family. Although the chief engineer who is in charge of the engine room department is almost in line with the captain. He's like his right hand. He's his main advisor technically on what is going on and what decision making the captain should do. But the captain is the overall in charge. Then comes the chief officer who is the in charge of the deck department and he's like the other hand for the captain and his advisory. On the other hand, we have the engine room department where the chief engineer is heading that department. Under the chief officer on the deck department, we have the second officer. We have a AB who is the able bodies. We have the OS who is the ordinary seaman followed by the cooks and the general stewards. On the engine room side, we have the chief engineer heading the department. We have the second engineer who is under the chief engineer. We have the third engineer, the fourth engineer, and we have the electrical officer on many ships because of all the electrical complications. And we have the oiler and the wiper. These are the ratings who assist all the officers in the engine room. Now, captain is the overall in charge. While the chief officer is in charge of the deck department, he will look after the cargo work, he will be in charge of uh, the maintenance of the ship. He will be the one handling the inventories on board of the paints, of the deck stores, the requirements. He will also be looking into the food and the provisions, although the captain normally directly looks into that. And the second officer is uh, the next officer below the chief officer. He is also one of the navigating officers <clears throat> in today's times. All the officers have a lot of work. They are overloaded. In Merchant Navy, we are limited number of people and the number of regulations that there are, they are just increasing. Today, a chief officer is also a garbage management officer because the MARPOL regulations, we'll be talking about it sometime in the future videos. The MARPOL regulations, they uh, need a, a officer who's going to be in charge of the garbage. What do you do with the garbage today? You're not allowed to throw a single piece of garbage out in at sea. So how is the garbage going to be managed? How is he going to uh, keep it covered? How is he going to land it when the ship reaches ashore? The chief officer is also the safety officer of the ship. So if there is a safety problem, he is going to be the one who's uh, going to lead that we have a second officer who is primarily a navigating watchkeeping officer who is in charge of navigation. All the navigational equipments, they fall under the second officer. He is in charge of uh, ensuring the maintenance of the radars and all the bridge equipment. He is in charge of the chart corrections. He has to ensure the passage planning of the ship is done correctly. The second officer reports to the chief officer for various du duties and he reports to the captain directly for things like passage planning and navigation. We also have some ships where there is a third officer, but uh, you have to be very, very lucky to have a third officer in today's times where the manning has been cut down, the amount of workload on each officer has been increased. But uh, the ships which have a third officer he will be in charge of uh, the safety under the chief officer. He'll look after the all the firefighting equipments, 
he'll look after the maintenance of the medical medical uh, also uh, but many ships when there is no third officer the second officer in charge of medical he is in charge of the as the medical officer he maintains the medicines on board he reports to the captain with all the expiry dates and for the new order of medicines if somebody falls ill on a ship the second officer is the medical officer who needs to attend to that captain has the uh, senior most medical certificate which is called the medic medicare while all other officers have a medical first aid medicare is a more more advanced certificate on how to deal with medical emergencies then we have the ratings like the able bodies who work under the officers on the deck they will normally help with the gangway duties check on who's coming on the ship in port they will help in bridge navigational watches they will help in uh, the cargo watches when the cranes are running the able bodies will also be uh, taking soundings uh, safety related duties fire rounds uh that's some of the duties and then we have the trainee oss and the oss who are under them they are the younger boys who are coming up the ranks and uh trying to actually find their foothold on the ship then we have the cook a very important uh it is said that the two most important people on a ship are probably the cook and uh maybe the captain yeah so if the food is good the morale of the people on board is very good and people remain happy primary purpose of a captain on the ship is not maintenance it's not on what's going on daily routines it's mainly to plan forward it's mainly to keep the ship happy let the people feel like a family the team should stay together the captain must make sure the team is together so then we also have stewards stewards are normally the ones who spread the galley news uh, that's on a lighter note but it is always said that the that the news about what's happening on the ship only comes from the steward it's called the galley news where the stewards will pass these rumors around but again it always comes down to the captain on how he lets these rumors spread and uh, uh nothing against the stewards but stewards are very very important they do the cleaning of the ship they do the cleaning of the cabins they they serve you food when you are uh in the dining hall to eat then uh, let's talk about the engine room the engine room we have the chief engineer very big man of the ship he is in charge of the entire technical department on the running of the engines the auxiliaries how the water is going to be supplied you know through the ship's hydro force systems the hot water coming on your taps the uh, boilers running the fuel management is done by the chief engineer he has a second engineer and of course today's times oil pollution is a very very big problem so the chief engineer is in charge of the oil record book where he needs to maintain the oil uh, entries very very carefully and uh, then he has a second engineer under him who is another watch keeping uh, engine room department uh, head he controls the uh, engine room boys on the daily routines on the maintenances which equipment is going to be started today how he is going to plan the day to day people management of that then he has a third engineer under him who is also a watch keeping engineer and normally we we divide a few equipments under the engineers the third engineer may be in charge of the compressors etc you know and uh, we have a fourth engineer who is normally a very junior uh, junior officer and uh, he is mostly under the jurisdiction or under the watchful eye of the second engineer and the chief engineer on his duties and on his own safety because uh, merchant navy and the engine room these are not very safe places you have to be alert you have to be situationally aware where you are what kind of job are you into i have seen enough accidents in my life where 
officers have got hurt on the deck they have we have had crane operations where we missed very very close deaths we've had engine room mishaps with boilers and uh, it's 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 an atmosphere you need to be very very careful about then in the ranks we have the uh, oilers who work as the ratings in the engine room they are in charge uh, under the under the engineer officer on watch and uh, we have the trainee wipers or the wipers who come under the oilers they are less experienced boys coming up trying to learn what's happening many ships where electronics is uh, a quite a challenge we have electrical officers they will look after all the electrical electricals today and today a lot of ships have lot of automation so a electrical officer is become a very very important person there's also some ranks called eto's is the electro technical officer where the eto is uh, more on uh, dp ships dynamic positioning ships uh, don't worry if you don't know these terms you will get to know all of it as you continue to watch this channel we're going to keep it very simple we're going to talk a lot about life we're going to talk a lot about keeping things simple